Okay, a common task that uh, we have to do as developers sometimes is to create mermaid diagrams. They can be handy to explain process, process flows, uh, entity relationships, things like that. And we can use Juni to generate those. The mermaid diagrams themselves, they're supported on a variety of platforms. I believe GitHub will support them. So if you have GitHub documentation, you plug in mermaid diagrams there. If you're using Confluence for your corporate wiki, that mermaid diagrams may be used. In this video, I'm going to show you how to instruct Juni to create mermaid diagram of an entity relationship. So you can see I have a pretty simple structure here in this project to find some, some beer objects, which are kind of like products. And then we have orders and order lines and shipments and things like that. And I want to show the relationships between those. What I can do is I've created a directory called mermaid. And let me open up Juni here so we can see it a little bit better. And I've prepared a prompt. I'm just going to paste that in from the clipboard. And here you can see that I'm giving an instruction in the directory called mermaid, create or update a file called erd.txt, analyze JP entities in the entities package, create a mermaid diagram that describes the properties and relationships between the JPA entities. Use a mermaid entity relationship diagram. So I'm just going to go ahead and execute that prompt inside of Juni. I'm going to pause the video. It's going to take it a few moments to go out, read the code, and the various LLM requests to generate those diagrams. When it completes, I'll come back and take a look at the result. So Juni has completed the task, and I do want to take a quick second to review the steps that it went through. We can see that it went through, found the entities, it inspected each JPA entity in that package. And what I found interesting here is that it went out and created 80 lines in that, and then it went in and analyzed the quality of its work, and it double-checked it, and it actually corrected it. And the last step is it went in and uh, added in uh, some ticks for it. So kind of interesting how everything happened. So let's go take a look at the result now. There's my erd.txt, and let me minimize Juni. So that all looks pretty good. And let's see how it turns out. Now, what you don't want to do is get the uh, backticks. This is setting it up to be embedded in a markdown file. We don't want to do that with the Mermaid Live Editor. So I come over to Chrome. I do have a Live Editor. This is just the default from the Live Editor. This is one of the ER diagram from the sample diagram. So I'm just going to take this and replace that text with what Juni created. And we can see it looks like it did a pretty good job. So apparently I've got a beer audit table. There's not a relationship to the beer table, so it's not showing that. But the other relationships from what I remember of that code base, that, that does all look pretty good. So you can see that it's showing that we have a customer. The beer order is kind of central to that. The beer order lines, those will have beer objects on those. The beer order will also have shipment. The beer entity does have categories. You can see a number of relationships that it drew out, and this is the template code that it created. Very handy tool. So just to recap in that, I gave Juni this prompt, directing it to, to the package of the JPA entities, and I told it a specific directory in my project to output the text of the mermaid diagram to. And now this is something that I can easily use for a GitHub page or in Confluence or whatever. There's a lot of platforms that support mermaid diagrams, so you can use this all over the place. It's a very handy little technique. It's a quick tip that how we can utilize Juni to help us generate documentation for our code.